Yeah, that's a lot better. What's going on, guys? Welcome to T3G. My name is Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And today, once again, we're doing our TV show roundup. We got this week, we got Flash, Arrow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Walking Dead. And that's we're almost back it. to a full slate. Almost back to a full slate. Uh, we didn't really decide ahead of time what we're going to talk about first. What are you thinking? Uh, let's knock out Walking Dead. Let's do not Walking Dead. Let's do it. Um, Man, that was a gory episode. Yeah. That was a really, that was really, really, really gory episode. Noah died like a champ in a gory way. <laughs> he, man, that was real, real <laughs> rough. I'm not gonna lie. Like I've seen, obviously, obviously I've seen every episode, and right? And I've seen gory things before. And I've seen other things, other movies where it's been even more gory. It was really. It, I won't say it was out of place, but right. man, it was. It was kind of hard, especially Noah's death. I was like, man, that was that was a bit much, but. um... I, mean, I thought it was pretty good. I thought uh, Aiden's death was pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah. He he kind of took it as punishment, which I thought was he interesting. He took it like a champ. He took it as punishment. He, he was like, listen, like listen, listen. You know, the other two, the ones that died before you came came here, they died because we left them there. Yeah, we left so them. We, we panicked. We were the ones who panicked, right. so, you know, I deserve this kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, he didn't say that, but you could kind of get yeah, that. Yeah, you definitely got it. that from that. So I think, I think definitely he took that as punishment. I think he took it like a champ. And, um, but those are really the two main things. I mean, there was a thing at the, at the, 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 uh, lumber yard or whatever, or the, the mall, the construction site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was the whole thing at the construction site, which I thought was, I mean, it was interesting. Uh, I like the fact that the guy who was in charge of the construction site said, hey, listen, um, I kind of panicked like a bitch and I left. Um, they're they're still out there, you know. Abraham still got him working, and he saved the one girl's life and yeah. rallied everybody. And, yeah, you know, he was real honest about it. Now, I don't like the fact that she's like, "Well, I don't know about putting your people into more powers, you know, positions of power." Where I'm like, this "Listen, is, if this is what it takes to survive and get the job done and expand your community and everything, who cares?" Then why did you ask for them? Yeah, you want to expand, you want to grow, you want to make this a real thing then you're going to need to let them handle their shit. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. To me, um, this episode was really, really good, man. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. It didn't feel like a filler episode. Absolutely. It definitely made me can't wait to see how everything works out next week's episode. Two more episodes. Because, yeah, two, two more, more episodes. episodes. Um, like, like I told you before, Noah's death almost reminded me of the... Like the '80s die deaths back in the day, where like it was just gruesome. It kept panning back and forth to Glenn, and it Noah, was a really, it was like, a really dark but, scene. But it was, a, but it was watched a, him like, but it was like a, eye to eye. He right. watched that man die. But even though it reminded me of that old style of filming, it it was good. I mean, it was really done obviously well, and just him watching this guy died right in front of him and like like I was watching Talking Dead, and you did too this time around, and Glenn says. Uh, that he's like an echo of his younger self. Well, echo so. of his younger self, uh, somebody that you know wasn't really worth much is now growing. You know, it has mm -hmm. potential to grow into something. And on top of that, like nobody ever died in front of Glenn. Nobody ever died on Glenn's yeah, watch. Yeah, it was it was and his first was true first, loss. Yeah, so so that was crazy. Two, uh, every time. Every time AMC and the creators of Walking Dead, you start making us like a character and you kill them. Like this episode, this true. I was like, wow, That's true. Noah, we talk, Noah I mean, might we've talked be... about this before. Yeah. Where, like, Noah's pretty much useless. He had one line, two lines. Yeah. And it's like, Noah's like, oh, I would like to learn, learn and build and this community gonna... and know for the future. And like I'm Chris gonna... Hardwick said, like, you expressed hope. You, you know, expressed, it's done. You it's expressed done. It's over. hope and now it's done. It's, it's done. Over. done. And, uh... You know they do it good. They do it good because I'm, uh, I'm, I, I was a little like, come on! I just literally this episode started liking this guy, and you take him like that. Uh -huh. But you know what? It was a, it was a hell of a scene. Uh, you know, we definitely saw Glenn experience a lot during that part of the scene, uh, emotionally and psych, psych, psychologically. Psychologically, thank you. That's the word. I think it's kind of uh, the same. Yeah, yeah, but definitely. But uh, that was huge. The fact that he was able to not kill the guy after he came to the van and, and you know, hold him up to take him for that was... He, he had that foresight. That was, he, I mean, and, and the, I forget his name, uh, Stephen Yoon? Yeah, I uh, that's uh, So Stephen said that he, you know, he did that in part as a foresight. Like, if they come home and both her son and this other guy are both dead and Noah's dead, and it's like, oh... Well, now I have no one else to go out on, right. on supply like, sorry, rates. Both so guys now you're in dead. charge. And 
it, it wouldn't have ended well. Right. So he saved him strictly out of necessity. Yeah. Um, I like the fact that um, uh, Mullet. I always forget his damn name. Eugene. Eugene. I like the fact that he kind of manned up in this episode. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Big props to uh, the actor that plays Eugene and the he's, fact that... He's awesome. Like, that dude seems cool as hell. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the fact that they wrote him to be more of a, like, I'm not going to be a pansy uh, all the time. And I think straight- he, po- he, po- he pointed out something real, you know, uh, I think what rings true is that he, uh, because she was his only friend. Right. Uh, and he said it, like, you know, there was that moment, right? As he comes out the door, you're like, ah, that little son yeah, of a, yeah, right? He's about yeah. to go and leave her there. Yeah. Because he said, which I thought was kind of a weird line. Right. But I think that was kind of like a disclaimer. Like, if you don't survive this, I can't be held accountable. Sure. Because, like, he intended to save her. Sure. But he was just saying, like, listen, if you die... If you die... I am a coward, and I should not be the one doing this. Absolutely. You know? So, it was like a disclaimer. Like, I'm going to do my best to save you, but you might not be saved. No, absolutely. I mean, listen, he realizes he's not the hero type, or he's not Rick or Abraham. But that being said, I mean, he still took the initiative to save her life, get the van, save their... Well, save what he could, you know, by... Drawing the attention yeah. of the zombies in the front to him, Dubstep. but which is fine. I mean, listen, we've seen all sorts of music. You know, we watch Beth sing songs that weren't, you know, so all sorts of music. Everybody likes different things. So, like, even though it was dubstep and some people find it funny, it's a it's a type of music, and that kid enjoyed it. And so that's well, it just doesn't make sense because it, it's like it's super loud. So well, yeah, but that's what that kid enjoyed. Just oh, well, I just mean like. But I mean, I think that goes again to to prove the fact that they really didn't know how. But to they deal definitely with this no, absolutely not. I mean, like, clearly you don't this play group, really loud music. Absolutely, you know, clearly this group is uh, you know still completely. They're in still denial. sheltered. They're, yeah, they're, sheltered they're really in denial. Sheltered. What's going on? Uh, it's it's definitely a sheltered life, and uh, that's why we're gonna see. And I know you don't want to see it, but that's why we're gonna see some kind of takeover coming here shortly. Because I hope it's, it's not, not gonna be. I don't think it'll be hostile. Like we talked about, Rick having those weird moments where he went for the gun while that guy was rock. Listen, Rick's not gonna kill the guy, even if he is a wife beater. He's not gonna kill him. What he'll do is either put him in jail that they have there. Or he'll make him leave the camp, one or the other. But he won't kill him, basically. He can't make him leave because he's the damn doctor. That's the problem. Sure. So sure, he's going to have to put him in jail right. of some sort. And they're going to have to like try to fix him and make no, him a absolutely, better person. No, absolutely. But he's not going to kill him, <coughs> even if he is the doctor. Uh, I don't think that would necessarily prevent him from killing him if there weren't kids. The problem is, is there's kids and Rick will never kill somebody in front of those innocent kids, let alone their dad. And on top of that, he won't kill innocent kids to take over a camp. So it will be a takeover. It just won't be a violent takeover. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. I don't necessarily I don't think, think it will be a takeover. Uh, what I'm hoping for is that, um, was it Deanna? Mm-hmm. I, I really never remember her name. Yeah, but I, is, I hope yeah. Deanna kind of realizes that they really need to be kind of like the ones in charge. Right. Like she, she does a really good job of kind of like, Community spirit, yep. like community leadership. Yeah, yeah. But they need to be the ones in charge of like operations. It's like you know, I watched a lot. Of, I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately, and like everyone has their role. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone has their role, and when everyone plays to their role, it it's, it goes swimmingly. Yeah, yeah. You absolutely. know, you have somebody like the, the the captain might be able to pilot the ship, but you have a you have a pilot for a reason. Sure. So the captain can captain. You have sure. to have somebody disseminate the orders. So she can be the one that says, "Hey, we want you know we, we sit down with the you know council or whatever, and we're, right. we're going to expand, and she's going to give jobs out." Yeah. But at the end of the day, when it's out in the field, when it's real situations, somebody else needs to be in charge. Absolutely, absolutely. like she's not going to go out to the construction yard. Right, she's not going to go you know for a supply run. Sure. Somebody capable needs to be in that. Position. No, absolutely, I completely agree. But I, I still think. If you watch, I don't know if you saw it, but the preview for next week, she definitely starts second guessing everything. She starts. Well, it's because of the crazy Reverend. Sure, absolutely. That dude lost well, his the Reverend, damn mind. Reverend, her kid being dead all of a sudden, right. like all this is going to now add up, and she is going to well, second of guess. Um, yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Uh, the Reverend um, was that in the last episode? Yeah, the, where he tells her. Was it in this episode or the yeah, one yeah. before that? I, don't, I can't. I'm mixing the two. Yeah, no, no. It was so this episode. It was that's how so it like, ended. And it was like, dude, 
bad move. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's like, how it ended. Oh, because, uh, like, you, it almost seemed like for a moment she was looking at him like, oh, you've clearly lost your mind. Yeah, yeah, she definitely. And that's, she looked at him like, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that definitely is what I got out of that. But, now that being said. Because, now when her kid comes back dead. Right, her kid comes back dead. Uh, you know, like she mentioned uh, before that Reverend came in, she's like, I keep putting all your friends in charge of things. Uh, and you always keep to seem to, every time they get mentioned, you seem to agree to put them in charge. So she obviously had a little bit of back thought on that end. And then obviously now the Reverend being a psychopath. But well, I mean, even I, I though think, she realized the Reverend was a psychopath, now that her kid's going to be dead, I think, I think she's going to I think Maggie start... made a solid point. And I think this is where it's going to come. Because here's the thing. If they decide to take over the town, there's not going to be a fight. Sure. Because... I'm gonna say we we win. You know we we're the right, right, we're right, the right. team coming in. We win. Right. Um. Because that's just it. They have no experience. They're not right. soldiers. They're not. I mean, they're barely able to defend themselves in in the field. Let alone like they were like, oh, we got like seven zombies showed up. Uh, we should all leave now. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like two thirty in the afternoon. We got plenty of work day. Right. Like, um. But no, I I understand that. Uh. But at the same time, um. Because I don't think she she's not gonna tell anyone to go like. To take up guns against them. No, no, I don't think it will. I that's just, how people die. Uh, now, I'm wondering what's going to happen with the Reverend, because Maggie heard all that. So, Maggie was standing in front of the I basement think, stairs. I'm, I'm hoping that she should she should confront her, but she's still in that in that house. Right. Uh, or, I mean, well, no, because the, right after the Reverend leaves, we hear yelling, I need help, because they showed up to the camp. Uh, because obviously the girl, so I'm assuming that was Glenn yelling, "I need help!" Uh, as as the, and then De and Deanne turns around to the door, uh, and I was thinking Rick was gonna hear it too, but obviously then we heard uh, uh, Carol be like, "You know what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to kill him." It's not gonna happen, Carol. It's not gonna. This Calm isn't down, this isn't your Relax. husband. Relax, Carol. This isn't your husband. <laughs> Ain't nobody killing him. Um, Shane's not around anymore to kill white people. Right, right. But uh, but yeah. I mean, overall, great episode. I was really happy with it. Didn't feel like a filler episode. I can't wait for the next episode. I think some some stuff's gonna go down in these next two episodes. So I, yeah, I hope it's I hope it's a good season finale. Yeah, absolutely. I don't I don't doubt that it will be. Yeah. I don't doubt that it will be. Well, we'll see in two weeks. We'll see in two weeks. Let's talk Agents. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I was okay with it, but I, I expressed to you my... Uh, my uh, what's, it, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> um, unhappiness? Towards so, well, it's just another S.H.I.E.L.D. So, um, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So we are the you, S.H.I.E.L.D. You... you you took away that one thing from that episode. Sure, no, absolutely. And we but found it's... out we found out a little a little more a little bit more about May, which I thought was interesting. Right. Um, you know, she she's got this ex husband who now has his own family. And that was just kinda like a little little drop, a little bit of more information sure, about sure, her. Sure, sure. Um, a little bit of character development. Sure. Right. They they kind of because really before the gifted index was just kind of something in the background. Sure. This time they've like really really gone into like how it works what happens yeah. what you're supposed to do with it and even these other people who are not necessarily quite powerful but they you know they're not really gift like the, the woman she wasn't gifted she just attached nails to her she right right blades to her nails she's crazy right um uh, the one dude obviously was super strong the one dude had that like cat super strength, cat right. catatonia voice yeah that was interesting because i was like is this Black Bolt, right? No. And uh, and then it wasn't. But uh, and well, I didn't think they were gonna introduce him. It's just I I found it similar that his power comes from voice, just like Black Bolt's sure. power comes from voice. I was like, mm, that's well, only that's part cool. of Black Bolt's power comes from voice. Well, sure, sure. But speaking of that, I really like that entire Inhuman exchange. So like right after that fight in, in the field, they take the dad. And he's just in this room, and then when they come back to him in the next scene, he's literally ripped the room apart. And the guy comes in, and he's like, "You done? You done throwing right. a little? You, throw, you done throwing your little tantrum right, right now?" And he's like, "You know, I was trying to protect us." Blah blah blah. He's like, "Us? There is no us. You're not one of us. You're I think, a science experiment." Right. I think, and that you can see that that hit him. Yeah, yeah. I think the person that's gonna judge him, he's gonna let the girl judge him. I keep forgetting her name. The one that transformed with Sky, Raina. Raina. I, I, I think, think he's gonna. gonna I think he, he is because he he's the one let, that made her hurt. He's the one that made her hurt. He might let her hurt. Yeah. Because yeah, so he, think cause he said, "Are you going to kill me?" And he said, "That's not my decision." Right. Now, my initial thought was that's going to be Black Bolt's decision. 
Sure, but I don't think they're going to do that. That's because I don't it, think. It, but gonna... I think that's only going to happen if they're in Adelaide, which I can't say that they are. Right. Because they've never really revealed but where they. I are. don't think we'll see Black Bolt on the show. I think we have to. I don't think we will. We've three years. Well, I don't think we will. I I think I think we have to. There we have three. Listen, years, we have three years. Three years Here's the thing. before we have three years. That's fine. No four. That's fine. We have three four years. They haven't done any casting for that movie. So what? They're just gonna throw a character in this season? They can't. They can't. They cannot throw the character in this season. They haven't even done casting for it. They can't throw no, a different actor. They can. Play. They can. They absolutely they can. They cannot. No, no, no. They can't throw it in, like full frontal outfit, everything shot. Sure. But they can totally set it up in such a way that, like, this guy who doesn't talk and is up there with a crown in shadow, he just makes like silent decisions. Mm, I don't think we'll see him. I think it could be done. I think it could be done. Do it, Marvel. Uh, Prove me right. Listen, I'll say this. First season of Agent sucked. They're trying to fix it in this season. I don't think we'll see Black Bolt. That's all I'm saying. If they do, will you be excited? Or will you be, will I'll be, be hell excited. I'll eat my words. But uh, I don't I'm think we're going to... write them I'm, out and I'm, I'm going to feed I'm, them to them. I don't think we'll see him in all months again. Not this season. How about next season? Not this. I don't think we'll see him at all in this uh, in this series. You don't think we'll see him I don't him think at we'll all. see him okay. at all in this I series. I disagree and hopefully uh, I'm right. That being said, I'm not going to get over the fact that, oh, we are the real S.H.I.E.L.D. We're the real S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, to me, what that indicates is that the, the new, this, like, other S.H.I.E.L.D., the, like, the real S.H.I.E.L.D., right. I think it's maybe Captain America but or maybe would, Nick Fury. Because the S.H.I.E.L.D. one of those SHIELD, would make sense. Well, the S.H.I.E.L.D. that they used is um, the Captain America. Sure. It's based I, on the yeah. Captain America S.H.I.E.L.D. Sure. design, the original S.H.I.E.L.D. Sure. The triangular S.H.I.E.L.D. Sure. But um, I think that's why it's may, it might be Steve Rogers. Okay. And it might be Steve Rogers wor- working with Fury. But that wouldn't make sense. Because let's look at it this way. Because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has always been a group apart from actual S.H.I.E.L.D. I understand that. What I'm trying to tell you is none of that would make sense. Sure it would. No, then why would Fury be like, To to Coulson, you're my pal. I brought you back from the dead because you're my homie. And I want you to not run S.H.I.E.L.D. while I'm gone and figuring shit out. Hey, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and screw you over and have this secret plan of running, like, taking over your S.H.I.E.L.D. Makes zero sense that it's Fury or Captain America doing that. It absolutely makes sense. I think I think it's Which, possible. I just explained to you why not. Tell me no, why. because that's Fury's thing. Fury always has plans behind plans on top of plans. Well, right. What's plans. the plan to take, like, to, to, what's because, the plan for because, Coulson, though? Like, because what happens is you let Coulson play the front man. You let him go out there and put himself on the line and build up the S.H.I.E.L.D. name. Like, boots to the ground. But he show, hasn't built hold anything on, hold on. on. Show that, that they're still good and that they can make some difference, right? Okay. And then when that is done, when you have S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of built up a little bit. Okay. As Nick Fury, you come out with a new helicarrier okay. or the tri-carrier or okay. whatever you want to call it this time. New helicarrier. Bang. We're back in full operation. Hey, Coulson, here's a new jet. Okay, okay. I'm, gl- I'm glad you think that. They're talking about a takeover. So, th- hey, Coulson, here's a new jet. It's not going to happen because there's a takeover happening. Two are Coulson- takeover. Yeah, you they are. They're going to take their side. No, they're straight up planning how to, like, take over, like... Like, take Coulson. Like, the whole secret stuff is not because... Oh, we're- When did they say that? They never said that. Are you kidding me? Like, he the said... Whole he thing just... Is- no, he just said... All they've talked about is like, are we gonna bring him in? No. Yes. Maybe. No. And, and then they it's talk like, about okay, so the little little present he gave Coulson that's scanning everything. They talk about when are we gonna do this? Like, there's multiple like. I don't think it's about taking it's a over. Take, it's a takeover. Okay. Well, then if it's a takeover, I think we go back to our earlier hammer. Hammer. I think it is hammer. Hammer. The and that's how you, and that's how you work in Oscorp, Osborne, yeah. Spider Man, everything. The, uh, that's the only thing that would make sense. To and me. on top of that, Which would if then... you're if you're a real gangster, if sure. you're Kevin Feige and you've got balls of steel, which Kevin Feige does, I've seen them. It's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I think what you do is you say. That this is all tied together. Right. So Captain America: Civil War. Okay. The reason this right. happens is because Tony Stark decides to back the real Shield, and the real Shield is the ones that are backing this Registration Act and all this other stuff. Right. You know, and that's where we get that that fight. That's fine. I that's think that'd fine. be awesome. I think it is. And Hammer. what I think, I think it they is. could do 
if that's the truth, sure, they run the res- the remainder of Civil War mm-hmm. in the show. Okay, that's fine. I think it is Hammer. I think they're just saying we're the new Shield because 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 it, they I mean, it's the same re- the same reason sure. that that uh the same reason that um you know Hydra for years. Sure. Said, at some point, they're just gonna be like, oh yeah, we've been calling ourselves Shield, but now you know you. It's, at one point, you got to just stop defending well, yourself, and you got to go out there. So we're going to be hammered. Well, right. I think what's <laughs> going to happen is like we are the new shield. Means like that's what we think of ourselves, but our name is Hammer. We just say we're the new shield, you know, type of deal. Like it's like state. Although they did have a shield as a logo. Sure, so. I know, but that doesn't necessarily mean they have to call themselves Shield. Sure, you know that's because that because that look that symbol looked it even looked older. Yeah, it did. So the only thing I can think of, the only other possibility I can think of, is that it's maybe like the old um, SAS agents. Right, right. Not Although SAS, I do the, like the guy. Whatever. I do SAR. like the guy that's going to be in there. Once again, I don't know if you watched the preview for the last one, but it's the guy from Andromeda, or not Andromeda. I'm sorry, Gal- uh, 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 Galactic, uh, the sci-fi show, man. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica. Thank you. It's the Emerald or M M whatever they call them, the captain of the ship, the old guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's gonna um, be in there. I can't remember. Sh- sh- he was also on Dexter. Sh- 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 you can't remember. You don't have to look it up. Uh, no, I won't do it. Well, listen, we don't have time for you to remember it. So when you remember, you let us know. But yeah, um, it was a good episode. I like the previous one better. Um. That's really it. I don't really have much else. It was it was a really good episode. It was a good episode. I wouldn't say it was a really good episode. It was a good episode. Um, I hope they talk a little more about the real Shield, uh, and I hope we're right and it is Hammer, because otherwise, if they just really are the real Shield, that's that's terrible. Um, In my opinion, that's just agreed. That's just just like, come on, you could do better. It's not a flash. Let's talk about Flash, man. I liked it. You didn't like it as much. I, I so, loved every second of it. And then when I think it was like, good. At I the just, end, he's like, I'm back to where I saw myself. And I'm like, that makes all the sense in the world. Holy shit, didn't see that happening. I knew that was going to happen. Holy first of all. As soon as I saw his next show, I was like, time travel. Sh- well, yeah, time travel. I just didn't know he was going to do it that episode. I mean, yeah, time travel. No. I just thought it was like future, future self. Not like, it's me 10 hours ago. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I like the episode. I really I liked. liked I really liked most oh, of the episode. Cisco's not dead, technically. Cisco's not dead. So Cisco. Cisco's technically not, Cisco's not dead. Cisco's dead. Well, that's so that's how they're playing it, right? Because you saw the preview. <sighs> but I really about. wanted him to find out that Wells was uh, Reverse Flash. I really did, because like she was about to tell him, because she figured it out, because hey, he left his wheelchair, <laughs> so. That's true. We're back you, to a point where no one knows. No one knows. Son of a bitch. Nobody knows that time. I'm done. <laughs> Son of a I'm bitch. done. <laughs> if he's back in a position where he's hidden again, I'm yes, gonna, he is. I'm gonna be Nobody knows. I'm gonna be pissed. He hasn't left the wheelchair in front of her. He didn't kill Cisco. Cisco probably was, didn't have that. That was the next day. That was the next day. Son of a bitch. Nobody knows. Son of a bitch. It was a great episode. Though. I liked it. It was a great episode. I liked it. I like. I. <sighs> Thank God they dealt with the whole uh, Iris thing. Oh, yes, God, but she doesn't this. know. Now she doesn't know. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time travel, man. So that's how good that episode was. Nobody knows nothing. Nothing happened because it really nothing really, happened. Nothing it was just happened because the beginning of the matter. episode happened. The beginning of the episode, the beginning happened. Of the episode happened. Nothing happened. The, Everything else doesn't even matter. Uh, this is worse than Time Cop. <laughs> we couldn't have even reviewed I can't, it. I can't even talk about it. We can't even review we it. We can't even review it. It didn't happen. Nothing it didn't happened. matter. It, didn't it doesn't matter. even matter. The only thing that mattered is that the stuff that Wally saw, right? Or not Wally. Barry saw. Barry. The only stuff that... So only the stuff that Barry saw. So Barry knows that... Uh, but because he told her he didn't have time for this, she couldn't even tell him that he was reverse Flash. Yeah, I know. So he doesn't even know that. So he doesn't know that. But he does know that... Um, Weather Wizard is coming. He does know that he's going to try to kill... Which would make sense why Joe. Captain's like paralyzation won't matter because he's going to be back to normal. Right. That t- that part of it would have never happened. So he, he knows that Joe's going to get attacked. 
he knows that Iris is going to get kidnapped. Dude, I'm so he's going to position them all out of the way. Sure. And probably catch the guy Which that, means that night, right? But yeah. here's the thing. Here's so the thing. it'll never but happen. Th- right, but then in the preview, they showed Wells telling him, like, if you change things, like, fate has a way of putting other things in place of that. Sure. So, like, it's going to happen regardless of what you yeah. do. Yeah. So that's why this episode, we have the rogues. Right. Like, it's not like time for rogues or rogue time right, or whatever right, they're right. calling it. So it's like out of time and then rogue time. Right. Um, which I think is interesting because instead of whether... So, like, it's kind of the end, the beginning of the season right. and the rest of the season right. coming together. Right, right, right. So it's... it's. I'm just mad that he... Like, time travel. He doesn't know and no one knows. Time travel. They as much find, as I want... I swear want, to God, they better find out. As much as oh, I... I swear to God, listen, they find right out. now, this episode made me think, do I really want time travel? Because right now, I don't want time travel because nobody knows nothing. Except Barry knows that Weatherman's coming and that's it. Weatherman. Or whatever. <laughs> the Weatherman's so The coming. Weather Wizard. Um, uh, I've been waiting to use that one since... Since week one. Week one. And I love the fact... I still love the fact that, that Cisco thinks in... Our in, terms. Yeah, he does. He's like, oh, it's a one. show. It's a he's show. like, where, where have you been? We've been, we, you know, we've known that since week three. Like, <laughs> so, he's kind of like a like a toned down version of Abed. Right, right. So um, yeah, so that's uh, that's I, I really can't even review this episode. It was a good episode. I liked it. It was Enough. a very good episode. It was. That's better probably than why I didn't like it. That's probably why I didn't like Cause, when I first cause, called you. I didn't like it because I was like, I was like, man, it was not that great. And it, because but right now, nothing happened. It, nothing happened. Let's talk about Arrow. Yeah, let's go to Arrow. <laughs> so did you ever even for a second think that he was going to say yes? Not me. No. Not even for a second. Not even a second. Not even those moments where he was like, why shouldn't I be? Even when they showed why the, shouldn't the, I even that trailer, Even that trailer that I told you where he ponders it, like I was like, he's going to say no. He's going to say no, and then of course at the end they're like, oh... Raish is actually coming to... It wasn't a decision. Like, it wasn't your decision. Right, this isn't a decision. This, he, this is already done. This is already You just need done. to, like, take your seat. Right. <laughs> like, the show's already started. Take your fucking seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I mean, it's, a, it's funny because Raish is determined. Because he's, you know, he's come to Starling City. He's extremely to, determined. To besmirch his name. Yeah. He's going to make him be a bad guy. Yeah, again. Captain Lance hates him. Captain Lance hates him. Wait... See, if they were really G? No, they're not going to do it. If they were it really happened. G. It happened. If they were really it G. It happened. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. It happened. It's not even. If they were really G, they would happened. change something. Everything happened. They, next episode, like, something will be different than it was. Nope. Everything happened in this episode. <laughs> Stop messing with our minds. <laughs> they were really smart. But, um, but listen, good episode. Um, Diggo, when are you going to become uh, John Stewart? He's not going to. They've already said he's not going ah. to. Diggo, when are you going to become John Stewart? <laughs> he's not going to. I, I don't think he should. I think they should make him... Because Diggle's now in the comics, so... Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's uh, official. He's legit. Um, oh, okay. But, so I think they need to give him something. I just well, don't Well, clearly like... he's part of the Suicide Squad, because Suicide Squad is coming back next episode. Oh, he's... I know... <laughs> Is it really because it gets hot like this? That's dumb. Wow. Wow. Well, let's let's finish that up. Right? I don't know where I was at. But yeah, so... Uh, we were talking about Diggle. <clears throat> so, yeah, Diggle's part of uh, Suicide Squad. Um, Cupid's going to be on it. Um, I think it's going to be an interesting episode. Right. Um, I just... This whole, like... They're really forcing a lot of Batman mythos onto onto Green Arrow. They really are. Um, and really and because this whole like I want you to be Raish was a whole Batman. That's thing. an entire. Like, that's just, a Batman. That's an like entire. Like he wanted story. Bruce Wayne. I had somebody. I had somebody on on Facebook say something along the lines of uh, how Laurel is about to get it get her on with Nissa, and I was like, no, that's not going to happen. She's going to train her. Yeah, they're gonna reminisce. They're gonna be over buds, her sister. They're gonna be buds. But like, and, and like, listen, listen. Is it possible that Nissa might maybe like mistake something? Yeah, I think they might have like an awkward moment. Cause uh, what's her name? Is it Nessa or Nissa? And Nissa. why? And why is Nissa? Nissa seems like a, a a a child that's always confused. Uh she yeah she does kind of seem like a child. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just think I think it's gonna be interesting. I think I'm glad she's gonna get league training. Yeah. Because then Oliver can stop. Can like then we won't well, have every episode make, be like you need more training. And it would be, it, would, it <clears throat> would make more sense. Yeah, because then she's a badass. Yeah. Then she's a badass, and then she can kind of take on the role that was played by Black Canary in Young Justice, where right. she was the trainer. Right. Um. So I I like that. Um. I like the fact that. To, um, Theo went back to Roy. Yeah. Or at well, least, or at least it's finding, finding some comfort fling. in him. It's a fling. I don't think it's a fling. I think they're going to get back together. Listen, I, I thought it was funny as hell because I was like, oh, it's Speedy and Speedy. Uh, no, it's Arsenal and Speedy. Get it right. Um, listen, she clearly is still not stable minded, so it's a fling. Let's be serious. It's not that it's a fling. It's she a just fling. needed something. something. Yeah, she needed and something. hopefully, if he's smart, and he's been getting smarter, if he's smart, yeah. he's going to let it happen. And if she says, you know, you shouldn't have done this, he'd be like, it's fine. It's fine. You do what you need to do to get healthy, get get, get your head around right. straight. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to, you know, go out and on dates with you. So I think that's what he should do. Yeah. Um, but I think it's gonna be interesting because, you know, Lance knows, and. He's, he's going to come get him because Raish. So he's going to. So Raish is making making that prediction come true that the city's going right. to turn against him because right. he's making. He's going to make it happen. Guy. He's going to make it happen. So what I think is going to happen because he's talking about he needs to be something else. He needs to be something different. You know, I don't make that big of an impact or whatever. I think this is where we see the change of name to Green Arrow. That'll be great. Star City. Star City. Green Arrow. And well, Adam wants to go. I mean, I don't know if once again you saw the preview, but Adam says. Oliver Queen is green is Arrow, and I'm going after him. In the preview, because yeah, because because of Raish. Sure, yeah, and I think yeah, that's that's the problem. So we're gonna see a lot for this end of, well, it'll Three, be four, four more episodes. Yeah, for the next four episodes or so, whatever, how many more episodes we have left, we're gonna see a lot of people second guessing the Arrow, and uh, what I don't know if you guys watched the preview, but real quick uh, spoiler alert for this part. But Lance does, Kevin Lance does figure out Arrow is is Oliver Queen. Um, obviously, Raish tells him because in the preview you see Raish telling about Arrow to Captain Lance. Um, and you also see in the preview that uh, Captain Lance is in the cave, in the Arrow Cave. They need a new name for that. The Arrow Cave. And uh, and he's like, I got you now, son of a bitch. And uh, yeah, I'm interested. I, I I mean, listen, I hate the dr How can I put this? I don't like this kind of drama, but it needs to happen. Yeah, because Raish wants his way. And Raish wants his way. Raish is not going to until gonna he, them until again. he loses. Right. He's not going to let go. Yeah, he's not going to. So let he's, go. he has to lose. He has to lose. On some level, so... Lazarus Pit. That was cool. That was awesome. That was cool. Very subdued, like, they didn't make yeah, a big deal out of it. they didn't make a big deal I out of it. I don't necessarily like the fact that it wasn't going green. That's just me. But, you know, whatever. I mean, they, I, in my opinion, I get it, but at the same time, they don't need to go that far. I get it. Lazarus Pit. I get it. It heals you. I get it. It makes you still young. Whatever. Works. That was good. good. That was good. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it was a fun episode. I like it. Uh, I, well, I'm going to go back to Flash. Nothing happened. <laughs> That's pretty much it for these That's shows, it, guys. guys. Uh, go ahead. Finish it Thanks up. for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have, share us. And uh, check out T3DTech.com. One of these days it's going to be updated. I swear we are working on it. Uh, but it's um, still viewable. We've got... We've got a new site that we're working on that's a little more important, so that's why it's a little bit delayed. A little we'll more talk important. About, we'll talk about that A little more soon. important. We'll talk about that very soon. Right. Um, but, check out T3DTech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, and of course here on YouTube. As always, I've been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.